You know, it's funny because I've spent so much time teaching and trading and explaining people what I do that it's amazing how often people just want me to cut to the chase. And, and I get that, you know, I obviously want to be succinct and effective, but one of the reasons why I leave the actual nuts and bolts, the entry to, to the very last part of our discussion here is because it is, in many ways, the last part of the step. In other words, a lot of people forget that trading and the strategy that we use is in reaction to the environment, in reaction to the market psychology that we see. And to ignore that, just to apply it randomly or incorrectly, would basically make the entry strategy uh, useless or, or even worse, destructive. So understanding when to put this strategy to use is, is, is part of, I think, the overall steps. And the steps are pretty easy. Uh, simple, I should say. You know, nothing about trading is necessarily easy, but they're simple. These steps are simple. Uh, the difficult part of any strategy is making sure that you are applying it at the right time in terms of a reflection of what the market is trying to communicate to you. The best thing that we can do is apply the right tools and the right strategy at the time of one clarity, we talked about wave clarity for so much for, for the first part of the video. So making sure that we have the clearest opinion being communicated by the market. And two, once we recognize what that communication is, what that environment is, what the market's trying to tell us its mood is, we apply the strategy that would best capitalize on that move. It sounds it sounds simple, right? But that's that's trading. And again, we know none of that is simple because in order to read something else, we have to take our own mind, our own opinion, our own bias kind of out of the equation. And that's the tough part, right? That's the tough part. Balancing reading external psychology or market psychology while kind of keeping our own internal psychology in check. So what are the steps? We understand what we have to look for preceding what I'm about to outline to you. We have the MACD histogram up here. So now what we want to do is take advantage of what could be a reversal, a trend to trend reversal. Understanding that we're talking about a trend to trend reversal, we still have to identify some sort of market cycle, correct? We, we still need to look at the 34 EMA wave and understand what the market cycle actually is. And most commonly what you're going to see preceding the entry for a trend to trend reversal or what I'm going to call a wave reversal is a two to four o'clock market cycle. In other words, in the brief moments that we actually may be able to identify that the downtrend or the uptrend has transitioned into a non-trending market, the market that you're going to see most commonly is that two to four o'clock. And the two to four o'clock is most easily recognized by what it's not rather than by what it is. A two to four o'clock market cycle is not steep enough to be a trend. It's not 12 to two. It's not steep enough to be four to six, yet it's not flat enough either to be a three o'clock. So what you're left with is two to four. So it's a process of elimination in order to, to identify this type of, of market cycle. When you notice that you have a two to four, this does not automatically mean that you are going to be setting up the wave reversal entry because two to four o'clock within a range with some sort of identifiable floor or ceiling will actually be a distribution fade or an inside the range approach. So again, the trend to trend is so important here because two to four o'clock is not the, the main cue that gets you to think about this type of entry. It's actually when the trend is transitioning out of a trend and prices are threatening to actually break the top line of the wave in a downtrend or the bottom line of the wave in an uptrend. Now I like this example in the 4 hour dollar yen because all along while we've been talking about this there was actually a trend to trend reversal, a wave reversal up here all along. We're talking about one that could happen because you know I like being proactive in these in these discussions that we have. I don't always like to go back in the chart and talk about the left side of the chart. Sometimes I like to be proactive and talk about the right side of the chart. So realize we've already had one of these scenarios, okay? Having said that, the lead-in into what we're looking at now on the right side is going to be one of two things. As this market is slowly transitioning, and it is a slow transition, 
I'm going to pay careful attention to the angle of the wave because don't forget, as long as the market cycle can be identified as at least a 4 o'clock angle, we can swing short this downtrend. So unfortunately, a very common scenario for wave reversals is that you're stopped out of a swing and end up reversing if all the other criteria are met. So again, it's kind of a failed swing reversal entry. But that just sounds so depressing, doesn't it? Failed swing reversal entry. That's why we like calling it a wave reversal, because that's exactly what it is. However, if we have a swing that eventually gets stopped out when prices travel higher through the top line of the wave, the 34 period exponential moving average on the high, and the MACD is above zero or positive, we will have a buy trigger. Again, let me say that. We have a downtrend. We could be short. The market begins to transition and prices begin to rally up into the wave. If prices pierce the 34 period exponential moving average high in this downtrend and the MACD is positive, that is a wave reversal buy because you are simultaneously being stopped out of a swing if you are in one and then you are looking to begin a trade higher, a move higher, a long entry based upon the resistance of the wave being broken and being secondarily confirmed by a positive MACD histogram. That's the entry. Don't make it more complicated than that. The biggest difficulty for this entry is it very commonly comes on the heels of a stopped out swing trade. And there you have trend to trend transitions, how to enter, set up and enter a wave reversal.